Here is Jill, doctor, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, doctor Jill Biden talking about books and you better like it. She also said in the interview today that Joe Biden is running again, so be happy about this. Parents and politicians are now weighing in on what books should be in our school libraries and what their kids... Should we have porn in our school libraries, yes or no? They're being taught. Where's the line, in your opinion, right. with how much of a say parents should have when it comes to what their kids are learning? And so- right. Where is the line? Why should parents even have a voice in what their kids are learning? Am I right? I mean, who gives them the right for them to say what goes on in their children's minds or happens around them? Who gives them the right? I mean, where do they get off? Who are these freaking disgusting parents? Just shut up and go to your job. You don't care what, about your children as much as a teacher. <laughs> Teachers care more about your children than you do. Honestly, I saw that a lot as a teacher and it made me depressed. <laughs> but the parents that are speaking up and stuff, I think it would be the opposite of what's happening. But yeah, here we go. Is a stupid question. It's like, what book should be taught? Should we have porn in schools? Should there be Playboy everywhere? Should Pornhub be on every single computer? I mean, who are we to say what's right and wrong in these children's brains? I'm not. I need my fifth grade, my my kindergartner learning about sex immediately. Every kindergartner needs to know about the sexual bodies. It's not grooming. What are you talking about? Are you serious? Okay, here we go. Dr. Jill Biden, she knows. She's a doctor. School libraries and what their kids are being taught. Where's the line, in your opinion, with how much of a say parents should have when it comes to what their kids are learning in school? Well, I think with the pandemic, parents saw how hard teachers work Mm -hmm. and how difficult this job really is. And I think if they work together in their school districts and decide what they want with their curriculum. Is there a balance between, you know, this book should be in the library, this book is under review. All books should be in the library. Exactly. All porn should be in the library. (laughs) What the frick? All books. We should have Mein Kampf on every shelf. They should be everywhere. All books. This is America. We don't ban books. This is America. Don't cap it slipping, though. Porn on every book, though. <laughs> Again, and she, they're talking about the books that have been banned by in Florida classrooms and stuff like that. And these porn, uh, these books will have, like, uh, how to give oral sex and stuff like that. Uh, you know... Very explicit stuff. Should that be in your elementary school library? No. No. Is that an insane take? Oh, my God. Derek O'Shea is losing his mind. There should be porn everywhere. (laughs) What the freak, dude? Uh, This is such an easy W conversation for, like, conservatives, Republicans, libertarians. And they refuse to talk about it. And instead, they talk about non-winning issues or refuse to not even talk about stuff like this. Talk about the heart of the family. It's such an easy W. Okay, all books, and let's put the Trump (laughs) book back in schools. Exactly. (laughs) How I did it. (laughs) Wait, what's his book? Uh, What's his book that he has, like, the selling book? The Art of the the Deal should be on every single elementary school (laughs) shelf. Yeah, and then maybe we'll put the art of the deal next to Mein Kampf because they're basically the same thing. <laughs> we are like we're just, we're just like in the most insane time period of my life of the gaslighting, the disingenuous arguments, and is it disingenuous arguments? I can't tell anymore. I can't tell if people are just stupid. Like I just I want to say they're being disingenuous or they're just evil. Or they're just stupid. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, that guy that was, like, arguing with me today and then, like, said that because I voted for Trump, that makes me an all-out MAGA Trump supporter. Like, really? So, like, anybody who's a moderate who decided that Biden was, like, a piece of crap, that makes you, like, you should be eloped in the same... Like, people like to put everyone in categories in life. Okay, you fit in here so that they feel comfortable can tell if they can feel comfortable around you. You're like, I will only listen to your podcast if I if you have 
a Ukraine flag in your bio, then I feel comfortable enough to listen to you as opposed to like just engaging with my ideas or learning to what I have to think about things or hearing me out on things. Or if I am wrong, calling me out how I'm wrong. And then we can learn from each other. That is gone. People are just like, I'm ready to put everyone in little cash. 